So we're in this one cornfield where we set up our traps for the, um, the rootworm beetle about two weeks ago and you can see the amount that's on the trap. Any more than 12 is too many. I think we start stop counting at around 45 and 50 that we had on this trap. So again, a lot of beetles out um, around in certain areas. This was out in Sumas Prairie. It seems to be worse out here than areas in Delta, not that bad. And Derosha was out a couple days ago. They have them out there. I was on one field way out in Hope without a cornfield around for five miles and they were in that field too. So these beetles start to fly and they get up into the warm currents and they start traveling and as soon as they smell a bit of pollen they start coming down and landing in the field. So that's part of the damage the beetles have done. Um, we've also noticed on some of the fields that they're snipping a lot of the silks off on, on the plants. It should have um, a long nice silk like this to get pollinated correctly. Each one of these silks is attached to a kernel and it has to get pollinated from the tassel basically. So the tassel starts to drop pollen from the top first and these are the ones that are at the bottom or the base of the corn cob. These will this top of the part of the uh, tassel will pollinate those coming out first and then as it moves down the last tassels coming out are on the very tip and these are the very last um, so the last silks coming out, these are the last tassels that pollinate that. So usually there's lots and lots of pollen in the field, except um, when you have a lot of beetles, and we'll show you some pictures of the beetles that have snipped all these, these tassels or these uh, silks right off. And so then the problem is we don't get proper pollination and we start getting cobs that are missing kernels on them and stuff too. And you can see these on these fields too, which had a high population. We've come in and we sprayed some of the fields, which we don't really want to do. We come up with a high up sprayer. Uh, John Van Week has one, um, comes in and sprays the field for you. It'll knock all the beetles down within a day or two. They're all kind of gone, but then new ones are going to start flying in again. So that's part of the damage that is done by this beetle that's that ferocious. So the second part of the damage, or probably the most important part of the damage, which we haven't seen because it's not as visual as what you can see with the beetles on the traps and stuff. You can always measure those and see those. The other part of the damage comes in the roots. And so when we have this kind of population in the fields and in the valley now, they're all going to be mating. They're all going to be laying eggs down into the soil. They lay about four inches down. They basically will start to hatch right around uh, the first week of May, middle of May, they start hatching. As soon as the corn starts to germinate, they're on the same kind of temperature wave. And so when the kernels start to sprout, then these things start hatching. Um, and then they start really ferociously attacking the corn roots. So burrow inside the corn roots and they'll do an enormous amount of damage. I'm going to show you this stalk here between a good healthy plant and one that's been eaten away. And you can see that difference in the, the amount of root mass on there. So that's the biggest damage you're going to do. And, and once that happens in your cornfield, there's not a lot we can do. We have to take preventive measures next springtime before planting the corn on different insecticides, BT corns and different things. So come talk to us. We've got some good programs that are lined up because basically we want to see as many fields as we possibly can get with really nice, big, healthy roots. We don't want to see a majority of the fields looking like this next year because the beetle population is there. They are definitely laying a lot of eggs out in the fields. And so those eggs will survive, the winter's no problem. And so then basically next springtime we have to deal with the issues. So we've got a good program lined up. We've had a couple fields that we did last year. They look really, really good, no damage at all. So again, uh, get a hold of us and we'll make sure we line, line you up with the correct program.